Hello, my dear friends, and welcome back to Alien Protocols. So I wanted to continue on this intriguing notion of what can we realistically expect more advanced intelligences, and I mean technological intelligences, could do. And of course we were talking about they could travel faster than us and slower, perhaps over millennia. They could... Um, travel further than we can. You can see over humanity's growth that we've been able to travel further and, and further and expand. And you could expect that they would be expansive in their growth. Of course, there's exceptions and reasons why it potentially wouldn't work out that way. But in general... You would also think that they could compute faster and store much more data in smaller spaces than we can. Of course, they could react faster. Uh, they could create more power in smaller spaces. So, you know, we have very tiny batteries. They could have much, much smaller batteries or incredibly powerful energy sources that are very small. They're most certainly going to be more efficient, I believe. They will have greater efficiency. And they would have likely, in terms of their energy systems, um, less wasted energy. And you can see that with humanity over time. We have less and less wasted energy. We harness more and more of it. Of course, like us, over time, uh, we would certainly expect for them to be able to see farther than us and see smaller than us and effect things much farther than us and effect things smaller than we can affect small things. And dramatically, they certainly should be able to effect things much larger than we're able to affect. And of course, they could construct things much larger than we could, in pieces larger than we could, and certainly smaller than we could. And I'm going to kind of circle back to that one, because there's a lot of interesting stuff there. Of course, they could camouflage more completely. They would have a greater mastery of the electromagnetic field. And that could have a lot of really profound consequences. You would certainly expect that they would have greater gravity control. I am suspicious, although I, I may be wrong, that uh, like when LIGOS detected the merging of neutron stars and black holes, these were very long uh, frequency, long duration gravity waves. But I would think that there are shorter and shorter and shorter gravity waves based on Intenses, intense amounts of mass in smaller spaces. And perhaps they would have control of the gravimetric spectrum. Meaning uh, long gravity waves like the uh, 100 meters that are found in uh, merging of neutron stars and black holes to microgravity waves to even infra-gravity waves, which would be like um, a thousand nanometers to like 0.5 centimeters, perhaps. <clears throat> they could have ultra-gravity waves, X-gravity waves, which would be very high-intensity gravity waves, very high energy, very short duration, and perhaps even gamma-gravity waves. Of course, notions of control over these kind of things in the gravimetric spectrum bring to mind things like a tractor beam. Perhaps they can even stack gravity waves to make a gravity laser of coherent stacked gravity waves. Potentially. They 
most certainly would have the option if they wanted to, to live longer. They would also have a greater ability to help or hurt or heal or kill at further and further distances. Over time, humans have created this ability to help heal or hurt or kill over great distances, more and more over time. And like we have also learned a little bit of control over weather and cataclysms and planetary forces, they most assuredly would have a much greater control of these things and understanding. Because there's, you know, many planets with the same kind of effects happening on all of them. Um, there are universal effects, you know. I also think, like I was mentioning before, that they would, you know, colonize and expand their territory up to a certain point, perhaps. Um, their sensors and signals would go further than ours, would have higher fidelity, and have more data. So not only like their telescopes, but their own communications, um, and all a wide variety of types of sensors, which is really fascinating to think about. They may have a great or greater control of the basic forces, the strong force, the weak force, the electromagnetic force, and of course, as we were saying, gravity. How interesting would that be? Of course, as humans have over time, they would be able to create, and they certainly have, more elements on the periodic table, all the way down. I'm sure they could find some stabilized zones, islands of stability. They certainly have a greater diverse understanding of isotopes, and compounds. They certainly could construct things using unfathomably large pieces and astonishingly small pieces, not just, you know, one atom at a time, perhaps even one cork at a time. And like now we can use a scanning electron microscope to literally move one atom at a time. They would certainly have the ability to move many more at a time. Perhaps even the ability to move quarks. So, I think that we can logically presume some things based on orders of intelligence and how we ourselves have grown over time. And this could tell us a lot of information. You know, I don't get into other dimensions too much because that adds many layers to the cake, but our universe is very ubiquitous. It's, you know, the same elements are all over the universe. The laws of the universe are very consistent. And because of that, we can, using reductionist logic, we can find out really amazing things and may even be able to figure out things that we once thought were completely beyond our understanding. And uh, I certainly think advanced civilizations are and have been visiting us. And, uh, you know, the research is really conclusive in my opinion, even with the government coming out and talking about it and the head of the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program coming out and saying so much. So, the extraordinary is here now, gang. And when you really think about it, there is so much that you can do because this is such a fresh new topic and we all can do. And of course, I'm of the, the mind to have peaceable communication um, before, you know, categorizing them as a threat. But uh, what do you guys think? What are other things that they should be able to do? Much love.